Alright, so you're Ozix, and you barely understand how to look up a guide on YouTube. So therefore, you need the owner of the server to go make one for you. Or you're just some random person on YouTube. In which case, hello. So with Movecraft, what you want to have first is a ship. So this is my ship right over here. It's kind of fugly, but it works for the purposes of this tutorial. What you do with this ship is first, you need to set up a sign that has like the name or the classification of the ship. So for this example, it's the Clipper ship, which is a ship uh, type on my server. It goes fairly fast, but has a high wool requirement. Hence why you have the big sail and the sort of like wool being transported as cargo look over here. Next, what you want to do is open brackets, helm, closed brackets, done. This creates a helm for your ship and allows you to turn left and right. This is a cruise control. Uh, this does what it obviously does. If you turn this on, it'll just go forward by itself. And this is release. It releases your control over the ship. What you do is you left cl or right click on the clipper ship sign. And then you can see moving very, very fast. And then what you can do is, you know, left click or right click or whatever on the ship wheel. And that will rotate the ship around. Over there you can see like my base thing. And then click on the release sign that releases the ship and yada yada yada. For uh, sh different ship types on my server have different requirements for blocks. For example, uh, a clipper ship needs to be at least 35% wool and 10% wood, I think, something like that, or 25. And it has to, uh, it, it can only be something, some really small percentage of black wool, which is the cannons plugin built into the server, and it can only be some small percentage of chests. I'm planning on adjusting those values, so I'm not going to give them out right now. So yeah, that's essentially how to use the Movecraft plugin.